Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Now that we've cleaned up a little bit more in previous kingdoms, I guess, let's head on over to the Wooded Kingdom. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Cap, throw, and hold. Fun stuff. Well, there it is. Next, let's read up on the Wooded Kingdom. According to this guide, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's famous for its beautiful sore bouquet. Road to the Sky Garden. So there are a few ways we can start off here. Wait, do you hear something? Recent events have uh, initiated my panic and spin routines. Panic and spin. A servant of the monster is illegally uh, accessing our flower supply. During the last watering cycle, an unidentified object flew by. And also here's the, uh, the cappy cap, where we can buy stuff, but for now, let's keep moving. We are programmed to grow flowers. The flowers are programmed to grow. I also believe there are some purple coins up this tree, which we can grab. And also, whenever you grab onto a pole, or something like a pole, and climb it, if you shake your Joy-Cons, you can climb faster, which is very useful. Just keep that in mind, and look who it is. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the monster want from this kingdom? Water, food, flowers, or soil? It's flowers. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. And I believe we don't even get more questions. No, we don't. So that's all we get for now, so let's just head on in and grab these purple coins which look like bolts. And let's explore this level. And this music might sound a little bit familiar to you. If you've been watching my videos for forever. Although, if you've seen the game already, you probably know the music already. Anyway. Anyway, there's Road to the Sky Garden, which we'll have to get over there somehow. And we've also got this purple stuff on the ground, which hurts us if we touch it. We can use Cappy to get rid of it though, so that would be useful. Um, I might get these purple coins over here and also at the end of that little stream. So let's do that. Very nice. Oh, is that more? Wow, they're just handing purple coins to me. There are 100 purple coins in this level, so it's going to take a while to get them all. So it's good that they're just giving it to me right now. Also, these prior plants right now, uh, you can jump on them to kill them, but also if you stun them by throwing Cappy into their mouth, uh, you can just, I believe, just walk into them, possibly. Yeah. Use Cappy as bait, I suppose. Although, he might not appreciate that. But anyway. Let's grab this thing here. Which is a new capture. We can press B to stretch and then let go to fling ourselves forward a little bit. We can also shake the Joy-Con to do it a little bit faster. But that's not really the most useful thing ever. But anyway. We can push that platform up and we can break these blocks with its, with its head. Oh, I didn't mean to fall down. That's bad. Oh well. I have to go back through anyway. Several times. Uh, but now, let's push this up there, and get through this little maze thing here. And if I can not fall down, I can actually grab some of these purple coins. And there was actually a power moon back there, I believe, that I could have got. 
Uh, but I don't know if I can get back from here now. Not unless I want to go all the way back. The other thing you can do with these um, prana plants is actually hit the hit a rock into their mouth and then capture them with Cappy, which means you can spit goop everywhere, which isn't really much use. Um, I don't even know if I can shake to hit that thing from over here. Can I even do anything with this? I don't think so. There's pretty much never a use for that, I don't think. But anyway, let's get rid of this thing. Oh, get up. Oh, can I capture the big one? No, I can't, but I can get rid of it. And the power moons in this world are blue. Flower Thieves of the Sky Garden. So let's keep moving. We're on our way to the next uh, story moon. Neat. We can use that to use the, that to get across. So yeah, those that piece which makes this vine bridge appear. Uh, but the vine bridge is not there all the time. It grows and disappears slowly. So you have to be fast, I suppose. But anyway, let me go over this way, because I can, and these platforms break once we stand on them. Fairly obvious. Uh, but in this walnut over here, if we break it with Cappy, or ground pound on it, we get another power moon. Cracked nut on the climbing tower. Also, I believe once you hit one of these P-switches, they just go for quite a while until you leave the area. So, it goes for quite a while. All oh, the camera's panning itself. Okay, Sky Garden Tower. Let's go and let's use this bridge to get across. Which we don't technically need, but still, it's there, so why not? Uh, but I need to get those purple coins back there, so I'm going to have to do that. And I can do that by actually getting onto this little bar here and stretching. Just like that. And now we can kind of skip some of this, but also there's a life up heart there that we can grab, so that's useful. And I believe there's also another moon right up here in this walnut, which we can break by stretching into it. Nut planted in the tower. Oh, I accidentally sh shook the Joy-Con by moving it. Anyway, let's just go with the path now. And I believe, if I'm not wrong, which I possibly am, there's a little shadow up here. And if we stretch, Stretching your legs, Power Moon. Sometimes you can actually get a little bit more height by shaking the Joy-Con as well, so like that. But anyway, let's get rid of that and let's go. Sky Garden Tower. Too late, chumps. We snagged the sore bouquet already. Now why don't you scram so we can grab the rest of the flowers as well? Or maybe I'll just make you scram. So yet another brutal boss. There are rocks around the edges of the arena to give you hearts if you need it. He can also make the goop appear. So you have to avoid that, but once you get rid of his hat, you can just make everything easy because you can jump on his hat again after you've hit him once to stop him from spinning, which makes this boss just really easy. Really, really easy. The only thing to avoid is his group attack, which happens straight after getting out of his spin.
path to the secret flower field. It's very foggy all of a sudden. Did I just... Did I see something? Ah, uh, just land up there? Also, these flowers here, if you throw a cappy into them, he'll grab them. And then this power might look familiar. From a certain sunshine. They only last for a little bit of time. Slowly disappearing one by one. You can collect more as you're running. Uh, but it's very useful to just go fast. But anyway. The monster's minions must not discover the secret flower field. The entrance is just ahead, but we dare not attempt it. We need assistance. And the Sphinx is gone. But anyway. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned already, but you can collect purple coins again as regular coins. Now we've got some tanks here which we can control. And we can aim with the right stick or just motion controls, which is not that useful. Uh, but we can press Y to shoot as well. We can hit blocks and also collect coins, which will be very useful. I don't know what the most efficient way to use this for collecting coins is, but there are certainly some. Otherwise, just ground pound on them to take them out. Okay. Pull the lever to receive a seed. Okay, hit you with Cappy. I require time to prepare the next seed. But anyway, we have a gigantic seed here, which we can throw into one of these pots, which makes a vine appear. Which is just a pole that we can use to get around. Oh my goodness. Also, I believe this is not the way you're supposed to get this thing up there. What you're actually supposed to do to get those coins is... Go out here. And grab one of these things. Just one here. I'm going to grab these, though. Okay, so this thing can stretch from on top of the pile of dirt in the back up to the coins just like that and there we go so let's go up this vine and let's see what's up here okay the recharge station is crowded oh this one didn't get enough charge in time well that's a shame just gonna ground pound bounce on him Is it my turn yet? Is it my turn yet? Waited too long. Recharging, recharging. Patience expiring. Initiate passive... Oh, please hurry. I am consuming the last of my energy with the panic. But anyway, this is a machine that's powering them. Which is also powered by the same thing that's glowing here. Power moon. Because everything's powered by power moons in this game, apparently. But anyway... That's all that for now, and I believe there's actually a rocket up here that we can get up to. There's some invisible blocks that help us up, but we're just good for now, so let's launch. Okay, I believe we're going to have some pieces of power moon to find, and also, I believe, if I'm not wrong, some power goombas, which control like goombas, but you can also fly when you jump, which makes it pretty cool. And you can uh, shake the Joy-Con to fly faster and probably higher. But anyway, let's go down now. Make sure to keep flapping so you go slowly. And underneath the level is another piece of power moon. And the last one is right up here, around the back. So there's that, but this is a secret level, so we need to find the second power moon as well. Which should be around one of the sides, right over here. In this walnut. Nut hidden in the fog. Wandering in the fog. And also, the power grooms can only fly so high, so you have to actually, uh, like, jump from platform to platform to actually get a little bit of extra height on that specific power goomba. But anyway, that's done for now, so let's go ahead and grab this flag. And 
over here, I believe, if we crouch, we can actually... Ow! We can actually get into here. And in here is actually some purple coins for us, so let's grab that and let's head on out. Uh, and I believe, for now, we need to actually collect these Goombas up for that Lady Goomba there. If we can. Don't forget you can dash, and we can use this little platform here to get some extra height. Now, did I get them all? I did kill one, so I don't... Okay, it must have respawned, okay. That's good. Anyway, another Power Moon. If I can grab it. There we go. Even if you're in a capture, you can still get Power Moons. So there we go. Oh, and it actually didn't respawn, I guess. That was that one over there. But anyway, it works, so... Everything's fine. Now, can I go back this way? Yes, I can. And there's some purple coins here for me. There's just so many things to keep in mind when playing this game, but anyway. Let's grab this here, and let's... Oh, not get out of the capture. Let's actually shoot these other tanks, so we can have a clear shot at breaking these blocks to get up here. And also, if I break these ones there, there's a power moon there for us. We don't need all of these blocks to get up, but it's useful, depending on what we want to do. So anyway, let's head on up to that power moon, which we can wall jump to somewhat. Behind the rock wall. Only need a few more power moons before we can head to the next level, which means after we get the power moon at the end of this main bit here, we'll actually have enough because we're going to get a multi-moon and also a regular moon in the section we're currently on. Oh, I missed the flag. That's fine. I'll get it. Station 8. And now, upon grabbing one of these tanks, the music changes to my favorite version of this song. And we have these bombs being thrown out of that hole that we need to dodge and take that thing out that's spawning them. Uh, but very quickly, over here is some rocks, and this is the only time you can ever get these rocks broken, because the tanks don't appear after this. And we get a life apart, which since we've already got a life apart, just gives us coins. Just wanted to point that out, because that was an interesting thing to find my first time, and didn't know what it did, because you couldn't do anything with it after you left the first time. But anyway, we need to shoot these Bowser targets. And after getting all four, we should be good. And that's the end of that song. I don't know if there's any other place in the game where it plays, but you can listen to it later anyway. Yahoo! Defend the secret flower field. Looks like the flower, the secret flower field is just through here. Ready? We saw this thing during the cutscene showing that we needed to go up this way. It's, oh no, it's taking all the flowers. You know what else it's taking? The L. Flowers, 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 must have all the flowers. Do not mess with me, biped. Okay, so, with this stretchy thing, we need to stretch into its glowing points inside of these brick blocks. And then, once we do that, dodging its laser attack, It'll flip upside down, and we can hit its glass thing just repeatedly to take it at, do, to, to do some damage. We have to do this three times, but in between each phase, we also have to dodge these laser rings, which we can stretch and jump over. 
You have to actually make sure that you jump though, because otherwise the stretch won't be enough. Also, I believe there's this block over here which gives you another he a bit of health if you need it. And now, these brick blocks are bigger and also uh, rotate around the boss when you don't hit them enough. But there we go, and let's do some more damage. Just like that. Oh, that's a big one. There we go. You can take out the weak points before they even have their blocks spawn in. Just take them out quickly and we're done. So that's all of the main mission moons. Now, hmm, smell those flowers. Flowers are boomed at 137% over average. Uh, but there are still, uh, there are still, uh, we've still got time to get some regular moons and the rest of the level is open to us now that we've done the main missions. So let's start off by getting some of these purple coins around the fir first area because there are quite a few. And there's also one of these blocks here that we can look at I guess and run around on to make it make the sound uh, but anyway uh, there should be some more purple coins in some of these holes through these trees just around I don't think any of these rocks have anything <laughs> they're just rocks we also have a hint art here that we can have so let's take a screenshot of that looks like it's back in the sand kingdom so I have to go back there at some point but we knew that already. Let's grab those. I don't know how many purple coins there are around here. We might actually have got them all already. So let's just head on over this way. And I believe this rock here is glowing. So let's hit that a whole bunch, if I can. have that fly all over the place until we get a power moon. Rolling rock in the woods. Okay, let's head back to that one maze. Also, there's flowers here now. Um, so if we go back up this way, also there's none of the things here anymore. The, the, the things, you know the things. But anyway, let's put Cappy on this hat stand scarecrow thing and opens the store for us so we can't take Cappy in here but we do have a fire bro in here who shoots fire at us just need to take him out and we get a power moon fire bros are actually a capture that you can get so you can throw fireballs and jump high um but you can't get this one because you can't take Cappy in here but we'll look at that at some other point so for now let's keep looking further up because up here somewhere in the maze is another power moon that we actually could have got on the first round through so I'd like to get that if I can and I think possibly no there's nothing up there okay let's head back into this maze and at the first section here if you don't fall off the edge over that way there's a walnut here which gives us a power moon the nut in the red maze. Um, you can see where the parrot is on the map. Talker to. Um, I might head back down actually.
Okay, so, over here in this water, there's a pipe at the bottom that we can go into. So why not? And we have a secret area with water rising and lowering. Oh dear. And also f fuzzies that we need to dodge, which I'm doing a bad job of because I went too high. And then I couldn't get out of the way. Ow. Oh, get down, please. Okay, you have to be careful about where you are on the water's surface so you don't have trouble with that. But anyway, if we get up here, there's a secret power moon. Flooded pipeway. Ceiling secret. So let's head back down now. Ow. Grab these purple coins. Oh dear. Fuzzies and water physics. Is a fairly good combination. I mean, it's not good for me, but it's still a fairly good game design. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up there. Oh my goodness. Mario started sinking. But anyway, here's the other power moon in the flooded pipeway. So let's head on out and figure out where we're going to next. Now, I don't think there's anything else over here other than the, um, the parrot. So let's head on up this way. And let's take one of these things, I can't remember what they're called. Over this way, behind the edge of everything. And there's a walnut here with a power moon in it. If there's a walnut, there's usually a power moon. Just, that's the, the that's just the way it is. But anyway, can I actually get out of that now. And I guess, why don't we just jump off the edge? Not joking. If you jump off the edge, in pretty much anywhere, uh, but it's usually specific places, you actually end up in the deep woods. Down here, you cannot use your map, so you can't warp, and you can't even see where everything is. But there is stuff down here to collect, so we're going to have to look around. But we're going to need to be careful, because there is um, there's a uh, thing around here, roaming around that we need to avoid. But anyway, let's grab this tree, because it's a capturable thing. And let's ground pound underneath where it was for a moon. Beneath the roots of the moving tree. Oh, there it is. There's just a T-Rex just wandering these woods, and you have to be careful not to get attacked by it, because it's wearing a hat, and the hat only comes off when it charges at you into an object. So it crashes into a tree, your hat comes off, and then you can use it. But before then, it's just going to be invincible, and you're going to probably die, because it's pretty fast. But anyway, let's look around. I believe these are coins. There are quite a few spots to grab coins down here, but also these mini Goombas. Oh, they actually give you a heart? I'm surprised. But anyway, there's quite a few places to put seeds, and that's your way out of here. And usually nearby is one of these things to give you a seed to put into it, so... Uh, not always right next to it, but still. I believe once the vines are actually grown, they always stay there forever. I'm qu I could be wrong about that, but I think... Like, I, I don't remember ever having to replace seeds in the, the same spot twice. But I do have to actually fill in all of the, the places to put them still, though. Um, let's keep looking around. Up here we have the pipe. So let's go into that. And this is actually a pipe maze. And I can't remember which way it is to go. Apparently, maybe. I'm pretty sure I don't remember which way to go. Oh dear. If you go end up back here, you've done something wrong. Oh dear. This pipe maze does take a little bit of time. I think it's right, right. Nope, right mi middle. I don't, it could be different every time, but I don't know about that. But it takes you around different parts of the forest as well, so. Okay. Um, back right. Nope. 
This is going to take a bit. Also, you can feel the footsteps of the T-Rex everywhere. Um, let's try back left. There we go. Once you get it right, you get a power moon. Past the peculiar pipes. Let's keep looking around. There's a guy up here that doesn't give you a seed. I'm providing security for this vault. I was told to only permit explorers inside. Right now, you do not look even slightly like an explorer. Well, that's fine. But anyway, let's get this seed and put this into the, the, the spot for it. And let's keep looking around here because there's some more Goombas. Ah, uh, but there's also a plant here. A little sprout with some coins in the water around it. We'll do something with that in a minute. But first, let's use this scarecrow thing. Now we need to get to that power moon, which is way up here. It's a little bit difficult to see where it is. But once you actually know where it is, it's fairly easy. Now, there should be a thing to find. Oh dear, there's the thing. Oh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. It's just a little bit big, and I don't want to deal with it right now. Just going to grab these purple coins up here. Um, coins, yep. Um, there's quite a few things to do. But I also need to head into the middle at some point because there's a pipe right in the middle. Let's just go into here. And now we have some chests to open. Uh, but if we open them in the wrong order, they turn into the mummies and we have to leave. But it does tell us the order that you're supposed to open them. So it's middle, left, and then right. Deep Woods Treasure Trap. But anyway, that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.